I've got another question from 09383324462. What does that mean? Thank you for the question. It's about cancellation. I couldn't watch that show. And this person asks, should I cancel the CH? The second sentence, have you changed the battery? And they ask, should I cancel the GED? Well, let's go back here. Now, do you remember cancellation? There are three strong sounds, S, N, L, three weak sounds, D, T, T, H. S, N, L can cancel the D, T, T, H. So, even in this word, couldn't, the N can cancel the T, couldn't. Watch that, watch that. I couldn't watch that show. I couldn't watch that show. I couldn't watch that show. Watch that, watch that, watch that. Am I canceling the CH? Watch that, watch that, watch that. What happens is, is this CH, first of all, cancels the TH. Now, let's talk about the strong sounds. The strong sounds, S and L, right? And the S, let's look at the S sound family. There are many sounds similar to the S. We have the Z, we have the J, we have the CH, we have the SH, okay? These sounds are all similar to the S. S, Z, J, Ch, Sh, right? So these are the strong sounds. They're gonna cancel this TH, they're gonna cancel this T. Watch that, watch that, watch that, watch that, watch that. So you don't cancel the CH but the CH, when it cancels TH, it kind of changes almost to an SH. Wash that, wash that. No, no, it's not a pure SH. Watch that, watch that, watch that, watch that, watch that, watch that, watch that. Watch that. It's a slightly weak CH, almost an SH. Watch that, watch that. My recommendation, if it's difficult to say a mixture of these two sounds, say it perfectly. Watch that, watch that. You'll have to say it slowly. But if you practice a lot, you can get a combination of these sounds. Watch that, 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 watch that. I couldn't watch that show. 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 So once again, can you cancel the CH? No. The CH cancels the TH. But the CH sound does change a little bit into something similar to an SH. Okay? So I hope that helps you. Now your second question, this is a little bit easier. Have you changed the battery? American pronunciation, have you changed the battery? Now, first of all, the D and the Th are similar sounds. There's three sounds for this sound family. The D, the T, and the Th. These are, this is one sound family. This is the S sound family, this is the D sound family, D, T, Th. So when we have similar sounds next to each other, we connect and keep the second sound. So we don't say change D, the, we say change the, change D, the, no, change the, change the, change the. So, the D disappears. It blends into the TH. Have you changed the battery? Have you changed the battery? Change the battery? Change the, change the, 
change the, change the, change the, change the, change the, change the. Have you changed the battery? Have you changed the battery? What's happening? The j, the j. It's a j sound, and it's canceling the th. Change the battery. Change the battery. Now, also, this j, this j sound, kind of changes to a zh sound, j, which is kind of a. I think it's a more common sound in French or even in Chinese. I don't know about uh, Vietnamese. J, change the, change the. It's a j sound. So this G, this J sound, slightly changes into a ZH. Have you changed the battery? Have you changed the battery? Have you changed the battery? First step, D and TH. Have you changed the battery? When you say it slow, keep all of the sounds. Have you changed the battery? When we say it fast, the first step, D and TH. Have you changed the battery? And when we say it really fast, the J becomes a J. Have you changed the battery? 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 It's not easy. It takes practice, but you can do it. Those are great questions. Uh, 0938332462. What does that mean? Keep those questions coming. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. See you next time, everybody.